a day where you don't have to rely on utility companies for energy. Instead, you just relied on the green energy you and your neighbors make. It's a concept engineers are researching as we speak. Nine News climate reporter Keely Chalmers and photojournalist Joe Swanson tracked down one of them. Imagine a neighborhood of homes with rooftop solar panels. These days, that's pretty easy to do. But imagine if those panels produced green electricity that powered not only the home on top of which they sat, but homes throughout the neighborhood. Green energy that could be shared throughout entire communities and keep the lights on when storms or other emergencies knocked out power from the grid. This um, improves your resiliency. It's a concept CU Denver electrical engineering professor J. Doe Park has been researching for years. So the typical way to use that energy or electricity from your rooftop solar panels is this. So you use it for your house and building first and sell it back to the grid if you have some extra. Park's idea is to simply share that energy with your neighbors instead of selling it back to the grid. He says that would make our aging electric grid much more resilient. I mean, think about it. That power you use from the utility companies is coming from a pretty long way away. Getting it from the solar panels just across the street could someday be more dependable. In the event of grid outages or some kind of uh, emergencies, this Local energy resources can supply your backup powers and support critical services. In fact, Dr. Park says there's lots of benefits of green energy sharing. For one, because you are generating some of it, it would be less expensive. It would also, according to Park, reduce the use of fossil fuels, since communities would be depending more on their own green energy. So it optimizes the existing renewable energy resources, the usage of them, and it promotes using more of them. The more we use green energy, the more we reduce greenhouse gas emissions and the more we curb climate change. So why not share amongst neighbors, says Park, to help get to that goal? In Denver, Keely Chalmers with photojournalist Joe Swanson, 9 News. All right, so right now, this is just in the conceptual stage. Researchers say they need to do more work to make something like this dependable, but with green energy technologies becoming more available and more affordable, the concept is becoming more realistic.